On the Col des Chers, the riders are going to climb up to France's deepest rocks and they're located in the hillside below those cliffs up there. Beneath the crust is a hot but solid interior that we call the mantle. 80% of Earth's volume is mantle and it extends all the way down to the core, but seeing mantle rocks at the surface is really rare. It's really important to find mantle rock. Below the Earth's crust, there's 3,000 kilometers of that stuff, and this is where the engine of plate motions and of volcanism is located, but we can't reach it. We can't drill through 30 kilometers of crust. But here, Iberia was tectonically pulled away from Europe, and these rocks came to the seafloor, and when the two continents collided, some of that stuff was folded up and shoved up, and is located right there on the mountainside. So these are mantle rocks. And they consist mostly of the mineral olivine, which is green and gives these rocks the general color. But there are also other minerals in there, and they tell us the depth at which they formed. This rock came from 40 kilometers depth, and this one with these red garnets came from 60 kilometers depth. And with these, we can study the processes deep below our feet. And this mountain consists of an enormous fold that is lying on its side. And at the top of the mountain, we see limestones, but as we go down to the left, you see these black rocks sticking out of the ground. And that is mantle rock. So this is not a mountain stage, this is a mantle stage. Maybe we should give the king of the Pyrenees a red and green polka dot jersey. <laughs>